What's going on guys? Track 2, A Day at the Races. This is You Take My Breath Away. Written by Mercury and based on the harmonic minor scale. Ooh. Performed it by himself at Hyde Park before recording it and all the vocals in the version of the song on the album were performed by him as was the piano part. Yeah, the Hyde Park, I feel like that's, is that what I saw? Somebody requested that and uh, it was excellent. Unusual for Queen, Mercury's lead vocals were triple tracked to achieve a solo vocal that could hold its own against the chorus. That's where you, I've talked about this before, This is that's where you sing the part, right? So this is just the chorus, let's just say, I mean maybe the whole thing was triple tracked, but let's just take the chorus for example. You sing the chorus and then you sing it again, but you want your second time to be exactly like your first time, like exactly. Like when I say exactly, I mean exactly. Like you're writing with a pen, a line, and then you're writing over it again, and it makes the first line stronger. You're not creating a new line, right? You're not, you're, you're literally going over it, and then you go over it again, it makes it even stronger, right? So it has to be exact, identical, and it makes it really thick. Right, and it just gives it more presence, kind of. It just makes it stronger. I mean, you're literally putting a frequency in the same place three times, right? It's just gonna be like that, but it's the same. It's the same thing. So, anyways, right? Triple tracking. That, that yeah, that's what's going on. Lots of people double track, triple track four. For yes, I've talked about this right when I did the Earth Wind Fire. When it, whenever mixing comes up, and I'm like, oh my god, the vocals on that Earth Wind Fire album, and it, it, I didn't mix it. Thank God. I I'm not like you know, I'm not like some insane mixer or anything. Like I've mixed stuff before, but that's definitely not a forte of mine. But to think of like that level mixing, like with that many tracks and all that, it's like, oh man, that is just just too much. <laughs> This is too much. It gives me nightmares. Anyway, so that's what that is. There, there is a vocal interlude between this song and the next in which a wash of vocals consisting of a loop of multi-tracked Mercury repeating the words take my breath steadily increases the volume until it resolves into the echoed phrase take, take my breath away and fades out. Okay, so is that right? Okay, all right. But it's not like a separate song. It's just like at the end of this song. Okay, yeah, because all these songs, it doesn't look, there's no like short song on this album that looks like it's like leading into anything, you know what I mean? Like anything that, yeah. So I think I'm going to be good to just go through these songs one by one. Anyways, all right, here we go. You take my breath away. Let's do it, bam. Very cool. At the very beginning, you can hear like ghosts of some other, some kind of recording or something. Like as if, you know, you're in the booth and he's got headphones on and you can hear the headphones a little bit through the microphone, you know, stuff like that. Anyways. Look into my eyes and you'll see my love stolen my heart changed my nice. life every time you make a move you destroy my mind and the way you touch I lose control nice. and shiver deep inside you take my breath away Nice. Yeah, very nice. 
really very nice. My breath away So please don't go Don't leave me here all by myself I get ever so lonely From time to time I will find you My breath away Okay, this is that part they were talking about. Take my, take my breath, take my breath, take my breath. Yep. Nice. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty awesome. Yeah, that is very nice. I remember it was super nice live also, like really, really nice. This is a very nice track. Very nice song, very well done. At first I thought that was bass with that part that came in that I think was just guitar. That was very good. I mean, I got nothing to say about that. Everything was great. I, I expected it, frankly, because I had heard that live perform, saw that live performance and heard it and was just like, wow, this is, you should go back and watch that reaction, frankly, because that's really the first time I heard it. And it was just excellent. It was excellent. Really beautiful song. Really, really nice song. Done really well. Nice changes, nice melody. Just every everything about this is really nice. That's all I got to say. <laughs> that's all I got to say. You know, it's it's a really nice song. The dynamics, you know, that's another thing that's about this band that they use a lot, especially in instances like this. This is using dynamics, you know, causes drama, right? It, it makes drama. It can also make, you know, tension and release. Also, you know, you can say that you can throw that in with drama also, right? Tension and release, right? So and there's definitely a lot of that in this song, just like the constant like expanding and contracting right there's just constant use of that in queen and i think freddie mercury frankly is just really like master at that like master 
Very great. <laughs> Very great. That is pretty much it. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, so up next uh, is Long Away, which I don't think uh, I've heard this before. So we're going to check it out. I'll catch you then.